So hello everyone, welcome to Tesla Technologies Private Limited. My name is Sara Mishra and today in this video we are going to talk about this process automation and closed loop control technologies kit. So its order code is 2223-6220.3.2810. So in this video we are going to talk about its components and its working. So now uh, we will discuss about the component parts of this control loop uh, technology. Okay. So in this there are you can see there are six panels. So first panel is power supply panel in which there is a main switch given for on and off and a power indicator then an emergency switch is provided two ports for the earthing and uh, these uh, two ports for the DC supply and these two ports for the AC supply okay and the common ports for respective this is an AC drive panel uh, in which there is a given with a DC supply of 24 volt and an AC supply of 230 volts okay earth ports have been given and this is the delta kit after this internally pump 1 is connected with this again two ports for AC and DC supply is provided with the common ports in parallel with this then this is the third panel of input output panel ok this is the first uh, so connection of AC drive panel is uh, connected with the, the second, third panel uh, it's DC supply is connected with the DC supply of input output panel and AC supply of AC drive panel is connected with the AC supply of input output panel then the uh, walls has been given for the different pumps like pump 2, 3, 4 and this one is for the heater again this panel is connected with the DAQ panel in which DC uh, supply of input output panel is connected with the DAQ panel and the AC supply of this input output panel is connected with the DAQ panel and this is the diagram ok this is the pin diagram in which the ports have been provided for the connection and this is the PC interface through which we can connect the LAN and a port for DC supply and common port is provided moving on to next panel this is the input output panel second again the connection of power supply has been connected with this panel and again four walls will be given wall 1, 2, 3 and the cooling panel wall after that last it is a sensor panel in which DC supply has been provided with the common port and this is the start uh, indicator port after this uh, this will show the uh, that the process working or not this is the stop button a fault uh, process indicator has been provided after that you can see that three sensors have been provided sensor 1 that there is pressure sensor sensor 2 that is RTD resonant current and diode sensor and last one it is a flow sensor and this is a level switch in which three uh, ports will be provided for the high, medium and low so this is the upper part of this kit. Now you can see that uh, two tanks have been provided. This is a sum tank and this is a measuring tank. The amount of liquid which will uh, collect in this, okay, and it is a measuring tank through which we can uh, level the we can measure the level of the liquid. And this is the temperature sensor. You can see, and this is the heater which is provided. This is the measuring cylinder. Now you can see that there are three pumps that have been provided. Okay, pump one, two, and three for the flow of the water, and this is the flow sensor provided to uh, control the speed of the flow of water. So now we will start with the connection of this control loop technology trainer kit. So please follow these connections. First of all, you have to connect this red port of VFD with this A O0 port of BAQ panel ok now this black port you have to connect ok <laughs> ok so now we will start the connection of this kit ok so we have to connect this VFD red port T5 port with this A0, A0 port that is P29 and connect this T16 port of VFD with the P34 that is A01 so you have connected the VFD with the DAQ panel now you have to connect the heater ports ok so you have to connect this T8 with this A02 that is P31 and connect T9 of heater with this T32 port that is AO3 ok 
Now we have to uh, we will connect these sensors with the DHU panel. So first of all, we will take the pressure sensor. So you have to connect E7 with the IO0. Next, you have to connect T8 with this T6 that is AI1. After this, you have to connect flow sensor T11 port with AI2 port. Next, this T12 port of flow sensor with T8 port that is AI3. And at last, we will take for RTD sensor. So connect T9 port with AI4 and T10 port with AI5 of BAQ panel. So check the connections. Now we will make the connection for this input output panel with the DAQ panel. So connect this T5 port that is of COM2 with D O0 port or DAQ that is T21 port and connect pump 3 this T7 port or pump 3 with the DO1 port that is T22 with DAQ panel. Now you have to connect this input output panel connections with the DHU panel. So you have to connect this wall 2 that is T6 port with DO3 port. Wall 1 with DO4 port. You must ensure that the connection should be correct. Wall 3 that is T7 with DO5 port and this cooling fan that is T8 with DO6 port. Now we will connect this process in the sensor panel that is T4 with DO7 port of DAQ panel. Now we have to connect this DO2 port which is remaining one T2, 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 T2 with this stop button that is for emergency ok now we have to connect the start that is T3 with this DI3 or B2 panel and the stop with DI4 that is that is T17. Next, we have to connect the sensor that is of level switch. So lower one that is T15 will be connected to TIO0, TI0. Okay. Middle one will be connected to DI1 and higher one will be connected to DI2. So we have made all the connections. Then you have to connect this LAN, that is this is PC interface with your system. And then we will work on software. So before this, uh, before we will work on software, you have to fill this imaginary tank. Okay. There is a temperature sensor and an meter. Then we will work for different modes in this kit. So now we will deal with the software part of uh, this kit. So in this, firstly, we have to open the control panel. Then click on network and sharing center. After opening this, click on change adapter settings. Here, double click on ethernet and click on properties. So now you have to click on internet protocol version 4. Here you can see that the IP address is given okay so uh, 192.168.2.5 now click on ok after this open the software
so it will take a few seconds now a screen is appeared on your in front of your desk desktop so click on the serial port you can see the modbus uh, ip address is given 192.168.2.2 and digital input output ip address 192.168.2.4 click on submit after this you can see a uh, connection indicator is being shown at the bottom of your desktop after this you have to select the type of experiment so firstly click on test mode okay now you have to test for level flow and temperature you can see the values has appeared now next you have to click on any of the experiment supposedly we have taken reverse so just select the reverse and in this you have to select the middle level according to the filling of the water in the tank now click on submit and then click on run so now it will uh, i will show you on the hardware part so now we will switch on this power supply of this kit you can see that the heating is uh, shown in this and you can see that the flow sensor is also working so now we will uh, work on the reverse mode first so in this reverse mode the melting tank uh, water will come into this some tank okay so after so now now uh, click on start and you can see that uh, water is coming in, uh, from the tank into the some tank So after this, you can do a stop or start the process. Now we will perform the same uh, uh, program for the another experiment. So first of all, you have to check that the PID settings for each uh, experiment should be correct. You can check for the reverse one also. You can uh, check the values of PID settings in the manual. Now we will do for the flow control. Okay. So just select the flow control. Set the value, flow value. Supposedly we have taken 500. Submit it, and then click on run. And accordingly, the experiment will be performed, and a graph will be shown in this after a few cycles. You can see that some of the uh, level in the graph. Okay. it will take some time for the appraisal in the graph so now we will uh, work on another mode that is flow control okay so first of all you have to click on this run button of this vfd <coughs> panel you can see the indication has been on now we will start this sensor okay so you can see the flow control is working properly and the reading is just on here Okay. So this is the complete demonstration of this product from my side. If you have any query, you can contact at Tesla Global website. For other information related to this product, you can refer to the manual. information related to other products are given in the links given in the description thank you for watching this video if you like this video just like share and subscribe to our channel